No, I don't waste no time Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is joshua daniel george a social media marketer and online coach and in this video i just want to briefly go over the sort of new structure with regards to ios 14 because i still get bombarded with questions regarding this so um, i just want to create this video so every single time you guys ask me about ios 14 I can just send this video along just so you guys understand what is going on so first things first what we need to do is we need to understand what um, the facebook structure consists of so what the ecosystem of facebook consists of so first thing we have of course is your personal profile so uh, there we go there's our little customer avatar and we'll call this pp for personal profile so when you go to www.facebook.com this is what you get your personal profile okay now with regards to ios 14 this is not as relevant but um, what facebook have implemented now is a new source of system where you need to confirm your identity in order to be able to use facebook so if you create a new profile you'll be hit with um, a notification that basically says there is suspicious activity on this account we'd like you to confirm your identity in order to continue using facebook the reason for this is because prior to you know this change prior to ios 14 etc there were a lot of people creating fake profiles on facebook or secondary profiles on facebook why is that because every single profile can create one business manager okay now i know understand you know there's a few people say oh we can create two business managers officially you can create one business manager per personal profile okay now what happens if you get this personal uh, your business manager bans disabled or anything like that well then this personal profile cannot create additional business managers because you can only create one so what is the easiest thing to do create a new facebook profile create the business manager add this the current personal profile you know so for example let's just draw it out just so it's easier so create a new personal profile there we go so we call this pp2 pp2 and then create a new business manager there we go we'll call this bm2 so now we've got your original personal profile with a bm that is disabled a new personal profile with a new bm and then all we need to do is give our original personal profile access to business manager number two and we're basically back up and running again okay so this is what facebook want to prevent people from having secondary profiles or people just creating random profiles you know if you go to randomnamegenerator.com and um, uh, this person does not exist.com you can literally create a whole you know online persona and then create a facebook profile off of that but no that that is basically no longer possible with facebook that is no longer um you know a viable option because now you need to confirm your identity and what facebook want to achieve with this is that every single profile on facebook is a legitimate person so that you know there's no longer any more profiles that are fake or anything like that because every profile is legit um quick side note i'm not 100 sure how this goes for people that don't have their actual profile photo you know some people have like a car as their profile photo i'm not 100 sure how that works um but basically what what they do is they check your id and then with the facebook ai they will look at your profile photo and then if that matches up then you know good to go you are basically um, allowed to continue using facebook so i'll just quickly erase all of this so what we need to do in order to continue using facebook is have a personal profile that is um, you know has a confirmed identity then set, i'll just create the bm again just because i've added the line um, to it there we go so every personal profile can have one business manager and like i said moving forward the personal profile needs to be verified with facebook so we need you know facebook needs the identity to be confirmed now moving forward because of the ios 14 changes so this is a result of what has come you know due to ios 14 the business manager needs to be verified as well and i don't mean verify with the blue tick um, i don't mean that i mean the business behind the business manager 
needs to be a legitimate business. So what Facebook will do, um, they will take the business details. So when you go to business info uh, in your business manager, so www.business.facebook.com, create the business manager and then go to business info. You need to fill out your business info and then request verification. And then what Facebook will do is they will check the business name and then find that business name in whatever registry you've used to register the business. So in the UK, it'll be company's house. In the Netherlands, it'll be the camera for co handle and so on and so forth. So they will check company's house and check the name that you filled in on the business info page and see if they match up. If they do, then we need to confirm that that is actually our business. So what we need to do is we need to upload a document that proves that you know that is actually our business. The second thing we then need to do because at the business info part, we also need to fill in our address, our telephone number, etc. We then need to confirm that either one of those two matches up with the um, basically the address and telephone number of company's house. So what we then need to do is upload like a utility bill or anything that proves that that address is associated with that business manager. So a phone bill usually um, suffices for that. So again, what Facebook now want to get to a point where all of the businesses that are running advertisements on Facebook are legitimate businesses. This um, has a lot to do with a lot of black hat marketing that was going on in the past. A lot of um, affiliate offers, et cetera, you know, were not as, um, not as compliant with Facebook's policies as Facebook wanted them to be. So what Facebook basically decided is okay, moving forward, every profile is a real profile. Every business manager is attached to a real business. Okay, then moving forward, we have our ad accounts, of course. So ADC, add account, there we go. And what we can do with Facebook, uh, with the business manager, sorry, we can create up to five ad accounts. Okay, I'll just write, create one just you know for the sake of this structure. Um, and then, of course, we run ads with that ad account to a third party you know, place, so uh, a website. So because this website, website is off of the Facebook platform, you know, we can't, or Facebook can't see what is happening because everything that happens on Facebook, you know, they can measure, they can see the engagement rate, the quality ranking, etc. But because this is off of Facebook, we are sending traffic from the Facebook platform to, you know, somewhere off of Facebook, Facebook can't see what is going on. And what Facebook have implemented or, you know, basically came up with as a result of that is the Facebook pixel. And I know this is like really, you know, basic, basic stuff, but just so everyone is on the same page um, to track what is going on on the website, we have something called the pixel. And that is a small cookie tracker, which basically tracks what people are doing on the website. So for example, let's say we have an e-com store and on that website, um, you know, they view. So we, when you go off of Facebook, you view. Um, the homepage of that e-com store, uh, we'll just call that landing page views. Um, why is it called landing page? Because when you click on the link of the ads, you land on that page, landing page. Okay, so landing page views, and then maybe you check out what is going on on the website. Um, you see the products, so you view content, okay? And then the next thing, because you like the item that you've seen, you add to cart. Um, of course, I need to just keep in mind that my camera is the right bottom as well. So I'll just go up here. And um, so once you add the cart, you also initiate checkout and then you end up making a purchase. Okay, so those are sort of the events for e-commerce. Um, but of course, that all happens off of Facebook. That is on the, in this case, um, you know, web shop um, off of Facebook. So we have that Facebook pixel that communicates with Facebook. Um, so with the Facebook ad account, etc., and the business manager. And basically tells us what that person is doing once they've seen the ad and clicked through. So all these events basically fire back and tell Facebook what is going on. Okay. Now, because of this iOS 14 update, we now need to verify the domain that we send the traffic to. So this website, we now need to verify with Facebook. Uh, there's two reasons, of course, number one is because the user experience is priority number one with Facebook. So we send traffic to a random website that uh, is not complying with advertising policies. Maybe it's a scam, maybe it's 
it's uh, you know of a theme that is not complying with Facebook's uh, policies, etc. Facebook obviously you know get the blame for it, and um, you know there's obviously compliance forces where Facebook says, listen, this website is not part of Facebook, it's not associated with Facebook, and so on and so forth, which is almost mandatory nowadays if you're driving traffic to a, a place off of Facebook, you need to have that compliance filter that basically says Facebook's got nothing to do with or what is on this website, but. Facebook have now taken this a step further because of iOS 14, of course, but also because of that user experience. Um, we now need to verify the domain to make sure that that domain is legitimate. So what Facebook have now created is a ecosystem on Facebook where the profile is a real profile, the business is a registered business, and the domain is verified with Facebook as well. So in order to verify the, uh, the domain, what we need to do is we need to go to brand safety, and then add the domain to the business manager. So we're basically telling Facebook, okay, we're going to send traffic to this website. And then there's three options that you can choose from. The easiest is by basically editing the DNS settings of the host and provider of the website. Once you've done that, you know, basically uh, the website is communicating with Facebook. Um, and then from there, we can go to events manager, again, in your business manager, and we can start telling Facebook what events we actually wanna start tracking. Because with iOS 14, we can no longer track any events that we want. We can no longer create our own events and so on and so forth. We can only track up to eight events, okay? So iOS 14, if people say, yeah, that's fine. You know, you guys can track me on Facebook and track me on you know any other um, platform that you guys want. We can basically have eight events, okay? If with iOS 14, they say, no, I do not wanna be tracked by third party software. I do not wanna be tracked by Facebook we can only track one event, okay? So what event is that going to be? Well, what we need to do with Facebook is tell Facebook, these are the eight events that we wanna track. So for the e-com stores, it's usually purchase, initiate checkouts, add to cart, view content, etc. For those that are in the lead generation space, um, it'll probably be lead or complete registration or contact, anything along those lines. But then, of course, we also have the group of people that opt out of tracking. So what we need to do, we need to give Facebook an event that is our highest priority event, so that regardless of if they opt in or opt out, we always track that one event. Quick side note, there is a difference in the conversion window, which I will be getting into in just a second, but just to keep it simple for this part of the video, um, eight events if they opt in, one event if they opt out. So what one event is it? Well, the highest priority event for most e-commerce stores will be purchase, of course, and like I said, for lead generation, it'll probably be lead or uh, complete registration, depending on how you structure it. Okay, so in the events manager, which is part of uh, the business manager, so we'll just call this events manager, we can take our verified domain, so this is the, the website, we can then see that, because we verified domain, we can see that in the events manager, we can click on it, and we can tell Facebook, okay, we want to track the following eight events, if people opt out, we wanna track one event, okay? And then you can just add that as the highest priority event. And like I said, that will probably be purchased for those that are in the e-commerce space, okay? So again, what Facebook have now created is an ecosystem where, you know, this is all to benefit the user experience, right? At the end of the day, Facebook wants a legitimate profile, a legitimate business manager, the domain to be verified, and for you to tell Facebook what events you wanna track. Okay, now with regards to the conversion window, because that is quite important as well, just so we're all on the same page, the conversion window or the attribution setting is basically a decision at what point Facebook can give you the information or Facebook can allocate that event to a particular ad or ad set or campaign. Okay, so what we'll do is, um, I'll just make this a little bit smaller or move it to the left, there we go. So previously to iOS 14, the good old days uh, when you know the grass was greener, etc., and the sun was always shining, we had a 28 day attribution uh, setting. Okay, so 28 days, and then we also had um, one day view. So 28 day click, one day view. Now what that means is that if someone clicks on an advertisement, so they see the ad here, and within 28 days, they think, you know what, I actually want to purchase that item that I see on the ad, it looks good. I've, you know, I've thought about it, made up my mind, I want that product. So 
So within 28 days, they actually make a purchase, regardless of if they've gone to Facebook to, to make that purchase, if they Googled it by making that purchase, if they've seen it on a Pinterest ad, you know, it doesn't matter where they make the purchase, because it's within the 28 days, uh, that's a one by the way, not a seven, but because it's within the 28 days, Facebook will say, yep, yeah, that purchase originated from us, and within the Facebook Ads Manager, we can see uh, the campaign that it came through, we can see the ad set that it came through, and we can see the ad that it came through. Okay, so we can see everything within Facebook because within the 28 days, that purchase was made. And then of course, we got the one day view. So if someone views the ad, so literally the scroll on the news feed, you know, this is your news feed, you've got all your, your cat images here, um, you've got a post here, and then there's the advertisements. So they see the advertisements here, but they don't click on it, but they do register in the mind. They go, oh, that, that looks interesting, that's, that's, uh, that, that's good. Um, and then within 24 hours, they make a purchase. So they haven't even clicked on it, they've just seen it. Facebook can obviously tell you know, when someone is viewing a piece of content. If you viewed it and purchased within 20, uh, 24 hours, then Facebook will say, yep, yeah, that came from us. And again, we can see exactly which campaign, which ad set, and which ad that came through. Okay, so that is th those were the good old days. Then iOS 14 reared its ugly head and that was shortened to seven day click, one day view. Now before I get bombarded with comments saying, oh, that's not no longer the case, bear with me. This is sort of the in-between step. Okay, so what has happened now with iOS 14, if someone purchases or if someone clicks on an advertisement, so this is one day click, uh, seven day click, one day view, if someone clicks on an advertisement and within eight days, page, no, actually after seven days, I should say, not within eight, after seven days makes a purchase. So on day eight, they think, oh yeah, I saw that product on Facebook. I clicked on it the other day. Um, I'll go back and purchase it. If that is on day eight, so this is day one, this is day seven. If that is on day eight, then of course the Shopify store or the e-com store will still see the pages coming through. Facebook will still see that pages coming through, but you will not see it in the ads manager. Okay, so Facebook can no longer legally tell you where that uh, ad or where that pages came from, what campaign it came from, what ads it came from, and what ads it came from, okay? But that's not to say that Facebook does not have that information, and that's something that is very important to understand and to know. Facebook still has that information. Facebook can see that person's shoe size and everything, you know, and what that person was eating at the time of ordering, but Facebook can no longer legally show you that in the Ads Manager if it's on day eight. So with the change of iOS 14, um, they basically said, okay, the attribution setting or the conversion window, you know, however you wanna call it, has now been shortened to seven day click, one day view. Okay, now with uh, that is with people opting in. If they opt out, it's one day click. So basically what Facebook are now saying is one day click and then zero, you know, if they view the uh, campaign or they view the ads, but they've opted out, nothing happens. You will not see that in the ads manager. Okay, so they see the ad, and then within 24 hours, they make the purchase. If they've opted out, you'll still be able to see that in the ads manager, especially if that is your highest priority event. Okay, so what it used to be, 28 day click, one day view. What it currently is for people that opt in, seven day click, one day view. And with regards to the one day view, I'm, as far as I can tell, that is still the case. However, I have seen a few suggestions that the one day view is also going. Um, some of my accounts have still got it. Some of my accounts haven't got it anymore. If it's set up a new campaign, it's seven day click. Um, I've yet to see this be officially confirmed, but this is also sort of up in the air. Um, and then if people opt out, it's one day click, okay? So those are the attribution settings with Facebook. Um, my apologies, I, I know that my camera is in the way. Um, so there we go. For those that couldn't see that properly, I'm, I can't see the camera, but I know it's somewhere here. Um, so with the uh, opt out, one day click from ads to pages. So if someone purchases after two days, but that person has opted out of Facebook, then 
Of course, the pages are still real. That person has actually purchased, but the ads manager will no longer show it. Now, why is this frustrating? Well, first of all, if you are an agency, um, you can't prove to the client that you actually made their money. Of course, the client is going to say, um, well, you know, I can't see that it's come through the ads manager, so should I trust you, yes or no? Is this actually from a Facebook ad? Um, and it's also frustrating because we can no longer use that data to improve our campaigns. So let's say, for example, um, 100 people uh, have purchased, 50 of those people have uh, opted out. So 50 of those people said, no, I don't want to be tracked by uh, Facebook, etc. Um, and despite the, you know, the one day click, despite the highest priority event, we can only see 50 purchases in the ad account. If we want to create a lookalike audience off of that, it's going to be less accurate, less valuable, you know, less uh, proven than if we actually had those 100 purchases because we're working with a smaller pool of data. Um, also, with regards to retargeting, and et cetera, nature campaigns, upsell campaigns, cross-sell campaigns, they will also be of a smaller audience because half of those people have actually opted out. So this is going to leave holes in our data analysis, holes in our ads manager, and just holes in our data in general. Okay, but the most important thing to take away from this is the structure and the new ecosystem with regards to iOS 14. So the personal profile needs to be uh, proven, you know, the, the identity needs to be confirmed basically. The business manager needs to be verified and your domain needs to be verified as well. So if you take anything away from this video, just make sure that you now go to business.facebook.com, go to your business info and verify the business manager um, and do the same for your domain as well. Um, the domain can literally be done in seconds, in like two to four minutes, you know, you, you're basically um, got your domain verified. The business manager can take two to five working days um, and then Facebook usually say, listen, we need additional information or anything like that. But you know, regardless, it's something that can be done you know, this week. So if you do it today, you know, by the end of the week, you will have um, a verified business manager, a verified domain, and then you can go to your events manager, set up the events, and you'll basically no longer have any issues with regards to your structure on Facebook. Facebook will no longer randomly disable your, well, they will still randomly disable your business manager, let's face it, but they can't disable your business manager for it not being verified. So I hope you guys got something out of this. For those of you that are in the coaching program, obviously this is nothing new to you guys. You know, I brought this out um, a few months ago um, and within the coaching program, obviously, you know, there's a lot of tactics and strategies to basically, you know, still improve the client's accounts, still scale your client's accounts um, despite iOS 14. Uh, but for those of you that are not in the coaching program, just understand that the business manager needs to be verified and the domain needs to be verified as well. So that is it for today's video. Hope you got some outfit. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding iOS 14 or if you've got an idea for a future video, just let me know. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.